Hello guys, this is Universal Giant, and welcome back for more of Kirby's Dream Land 2. Doesn't it feel nice to hear me say that every time I start a video? Because I haven't done that in months, have I? But we're continuing through level 3, losing our ability, because we're too cool to keep it, and we're too cool not to keep damage. And I don't think Koo is going to be any help to us in here, so I'll just get rid of him. Yeah, you can hit select to get rid of your animal friend at any time, and you can see Kirby can blow bubbles underwater. But he can't get through those water currents! And Jellyfish Spark! This is the Spark mini-boss. And he's not very good at hitting me, apparently. But this is my favorite mini-boss. He's probably one of the most difficult, except for the Cutter Dude, who's like a Cutter Ninja. But yeah, isn't that just a cool attack? I think it is. I love this guy, though. And I love Spark, too. Oh yeah, take... No, that's right. It still... It makes the damage sound whenever you hit one of those bags. But it doesn't hurt you. So Spark, my favorite ability in this game. And kind of Fish! Who can swim! And... That's about it. I'm not kidding. That's all he can do. He can swim against currents like this, so if you see bubbles going down in one direction underwater, he can swim against them. And they use that considerably for several different uh, rainbow drops. So as you can see, it's dark in here. And we need the light bulb to see where we're going. And there's a door here. Boy, that light bulb was helpful. Yeah, we'll be using that a couple more times, but I don't like the fact that they use Kine so much for so many different rainbow drops in this game. It, it, I mean, I'm sure we'll get to it in this video. The one for level 3 I don't like. It's one of those that I don't think I ever got as a kid. I mean, they're... Truth be told, although I did, like, quote-unquote beat this game, I never as a child got all of the rainbow drops. And I'll explain why as I get to them, but some of them are just impossible to get if you have no idea what you're doing. It, they either take a very long time or they're extremely tedious. Which is weird considering that this game, aside from those rainbow drops, is pretty easy. So you'd expect the rainbow drops would be as difficult, but some of them can be pretty convoluted and complicated. Lots of big words. And of course, we're going to be doing above water platforming with the fish, because that's what the fish is for! Above water shenanigans. Who says a fish out of water can't be useful? I crossed all the way over here using the fish, and I lost my ability. But I can get it back, because I'm the fish underwater! And this is the room where the thing is located. Now the rainbow drop... Oh no, it's not. It's a... Yeah, it is a room in here. But we can't get it without the stone ability, so I'm not going to bother showing you it until we get the stone. So I'll get rid of that. There's Mr. Stony, And, yeah, fish rock. It's kind of silly, kind of useless, but we need it. At least I think we need it in here. We do need it in here. Because up here is a room that we need to swim against the current for. And if we had Spark, we would notice that there is a hidden door over here. Which contains the Rainbow Drop for level 3. So hop on over here, use your stone, and... Got a Rainbow Drop! And now we have to get out the opposite side from which we came in. I don't even want to think about having rock. I'm pretty sure it's called stone and not rock, but, you know, you say tomato, I say rock. So let's just get on out of here, and really, Kine is pretty much useless out of the water. I mean, he's like Rick, in a sense, but he can't move around as much. If you just stay in the air, jump a lot, oh, I wish I got stone, this would have made this section so incredibly easy, because if you had the stone ability here, you could just ride it all the way down. Because as a stone, you can't take damage. I mean, I don't think your stone ability lasts forever with Kine, so you might have to reactivate it a couple of times, but I know with Kirby, you could just ride it out forever. So if you're playing on an emulator like I am, you could just breeze through here. You could fast forward ten times speed, and nothing would hurt you. 
they have a few sections like that in this game. And I guess you have to look for them because it doesn't occur to me to do that. I mean, I like staying in control the whole time. So even if I had the stone, I'd tend not to use it all the way down. But tell you what, Kine is going to make the boss of this level incredibly easy. And that's the second time I got a 1-up. whoop de doo So now the boss of Ripplefield, as you can imagine, it's underwater. And this is a fight that is extremely difficult without Kine. Because without him, you would have to use Kirby's bubble attack to blow the stars back at this guy. And not many stars appear. In fact, sometimes enemies appear and he'll charge at you. But th this boss is so much easier with Kine. Just never come in here without him. If you have to go back and get him, go get him. Because this boss is... Oh my god, is he easy with, with Kine. I mean, as a kid, this boss gave me fits. I hated this guy. I really did. This is my least favorite boss. Because I always did it with Kirby and without the fish. But this game is so much easier with the fish. Because we can beat him just like that. I'm not sure how much damage the stars do if you're just using Kirby. It may only be one, but that would be terribly mean. I don't remember off the top of my head. If anybody else does, let me know. So we move on to level 4! Iceberg! And we'll notice from the opening cutscene here that Kine's not going to be very helpful. So bye bye, Kine! Really? Oh, whoops! And that's what happens when you hit the warp star at the top of a level. So I don't remember if Kine's going to help us too much here or not, but I'll hold on to him for as long as I can. Because I know we will need him eventually. And I might as well show this. If you hit one of those guys with an animal friend, he disappears for some reason. And I don't know why. I don't know why propellers make your animal friends disappear. Nor do I know what they do with them when they make them disappear. All I know is that I need that fire ability to get Rick. So let's go get that real quick. I said, let's go get that real quick. There we go. Burn our way through these blocks, and hello, Rick. And if I didn't mention already, all of these animal friends have their own background music, which plays over the levels, if you have them. And I can pick that up later if I want. I want to hold on to Rick for now. And ice! You have to get up pretty close to an enemy to hit them with this, which makes it a little frustrating to use and why I prefer using fire. But it does have its uses in this game. Like over here, where you can just catapult enemies into each other when they're frozen. Which is neat. Woo 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 woo. And the stone mini boss! Who likes jumping and attacking us from above, like stone, who knew? and ramming into us like a stone. I'm sure all of these mini-bosses have names. And now, I'm not even going to tell you what I think is associated with this. Rick and Stone. I will let you tell me what this should refer to. But mind you, this came before the reference did. So even if this means what you think it means, it doesn't mean what you think it means, because this game came first. And if you don't know what I mean, well, you really need to get out more in terms of knowing your internet memes. Anyway, on to stage two of the glacier, or iceberg, I forget what this thing is called. And um, I want to be a little more careful here, because... Do I even want to keep Rick here? I don't, because I have to cross this gap here. And, yeah, that's what happens. It's very difficult to keep Rick over that section. So now we get to hear the background music for the glacier, which is nice. And we can't get into that door unless we can fight the air currents, which we can't do. 
So which of our animal buddies will be able to help us in that department? Maybe the one that's locked up inside that little bag over there. I don't know how they managed to continually capture my animal friends. And why they don't just go after me, because I'm Kirby. But yes, as you guessed, this is Koo and we get to use Koo again. And Koo can fly against the wind just like Kine can swim against water currents. Except it takes a really long time. Now the parasol ability here is extremely helpful because you can just go all the way up without having to worry about anything. Except that! Which I'm apparently too much of a klutz not to miss. Or to miss. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of them. But thankfully they put a maxi tomato there. This is going to be extremely difficult to do without an ability. Well, not difficult, just tedious. I don't like doing tedious things. There we go. So, yeah, there's totally no reason for them to stack so many star blocks on top of each other and make me eat every one of them in order to progress, because in here we get a wide array of different abilities we can use. The only one that we care about is burn, because it lets us melt ice blocks. And if you feel like opening up the propeller on this side, he can steal coup, and that won't be cool with us. So we're just going to continue as if he's not there, and get to the end of the stage. I promise this game will get a little more difficult as we go through, but we are technically halfway through since this is level 4 of 7, and why am I hitting so many 1-ups in these bonus games? I swear, I am not that good at this. So, moving on to 4-3 here. You know what, I don't think I like Burn too much. And I'll just show you Stone- well, I showed you Stone already, forget Stone. Ice, I can show you with this guy. Oh, I guess you can direct it. I didn't know that. Let's get Spark with this guy. Yeah, you get to fire a laser from above, which is cool. I don't know if Spark is going to help us or hurt us in here. Oh, against, he's going to make this guy so easy. I mean, look at this. He doesn't stand a chance. This is the Ice Dude, by the way. And he's just getting his ass handed to him right now. And now we're going to switch to Kine for no reason. Because I like Kine. No, I hate this guy. I really do. But we can just hold this flashlight in our mouths for the entire length of the stage here. And if we really wanted to, we could break open those star blocks, but I don't think they give us anything we want. Did I mention how easy some of these stages are with abilities? You can just fly through them without a problem. So if you know what you're doing, this game can be just so easy. But at some points, it's just difficult. And like it is here, which I'm probably going to get hit by that other propeller, which is somewhere around here. Uh, where is he? He's probably up there. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, it could not be avoided. At least I still have Spark. And you'll notice there are a lot of gaps over here, which would have been very difficult to cross if we tried doing it with Kine. So it might be better off that we got rid of him, but we're going to need him a little bit later. And again with the 1-ups! How am I getting all of these 1-ups? Anyway, I don't have time to start 4-4, so in the next part of this game, we will start 4-4. See you then!